Good morning everyone. Today we are going to make something interesting, one of my favourite things to make and that's going to be trinkets. What I've done is I've gone to the garden and I've picked a few leaves and I must say this leaf, I'm not sure what plant it's from, but it's got a very nice vein system print at the back. If you can see, it really leaves a beautiful imprint. On the clay so I've printed different I'm uh, sorry I've picked different sizes smaller ones very small one and yeah I'm gonna use them all okay so let's get started so I'm going to just position the leaf on the clay and then I'm going to give it a roll so that the leaf prints into the clay like so now where's my knife okay so just gently lift it up so that the leaf doesn't tear look at that imprint sure 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 these leaves make such a beautiful imprint there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a leaf shape. So I will go about a little bit on the outer side of the leaf print. And then we also want to make a little stem. Give it a nice fit nice fat belly and give it a bit of a stem and that's it so the first one is done so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to smooth out the edge of the leaf <clears throat> now my idea is to make a little one and put a little one somewhere in here. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll take a small one. I think we'll use this one. So that this little leaf is raised, stands a bit raised or stands out. Okay, so let's cut this one. like so and gently lift off the leaf because we want to use it again and voila so what I thought is if I have this one and I take this little one, this little guy, I just need to score the back a bit. Oh, where's that tool of mine? Okay, just give it a bit of a score. Just like that. And where should I put it? Now the thing is, yeah, that'll work. So I'm just going to press it a little bit down so that it gets stuck on it. But I don't want to press out the leaf print on the small leaf so i use these ones as molds this is little trinket dishes i made a while back but i wasn't happy with the outcome at all so i use them now as a mold to lay the leaf in 
so that I can get that curved shape. Okay, so we're just going to use this little trinket that I made and we are going to use it as a mold. Now I just need a small brush. So what's cute with these little stems is that you can shape them differently. So you can make it nice and long and you can give it a bit of a curl. And give it a nice natural look in the shape or in the design. <clears throat> And there we go, our first one is done. This is my second batch that I'm making. So, little fun fact. I made a few of them the other day. And I took them off to the shop that sells them. And yeah, they were just put on the shelf and they were all sold that same day. So the people love these little trinkets. They like them. They can put so many things in them. It's such a cute idea for a gift. Um, to, to give someone for a gift. I mean, you can use it for jewelry. You can use it to put a soap in. You can use it to put snacks in. A bit of olives, a bit of peanuts whatever you want dip you can put dip in it and how beautiful will it look if you've got a table and there's a few of them dressed on the table or put on the table with different snacks on it especially if you've got a bit of a nature leaf inspired themed party um, if you're like me I love the nature and we as a family we love the nature or we love nature and I started these little trinkets using leaf imprints or, or making leaf imprints and I just love making them. This is an earthenware clay that I'm using. Um, it fires to a light cream color. So I will obviously bisque fire these first and then give them a underglaze wash and give them a glaze and that's it. And then give them another fire. So you can see our first one is done. And again, just look at that imprint. So if you find a leaf, look at the back because some of the leaves don't have such a very prominent, you know, the leaves, the veins aren't that prominent. They're not standing out as much as this one. But this leaf is an awesome leaf to use, if you can see. And it's got a lovely smell. So while I work with it, I get this beautiful smell. I've taken these leaves and I've dried them out. I've pressed them, pressed them, and I've dried it out. And this vein still stays very nicely um, prominent, so you can still use it. You can use it over and over. You don't have to use the leaf and throw it away. You can use them over and over a couple of times. 
Okay, so first one done. Let's start with the second one. Now I think this one we're just going to make plain and we are going to just put a few small leaves inside or maybe one leaf in the middle. Let's see how we do this. I'm going to cut this part off because I think that's big enough. And then we will now quickly cut out a nice, a nice leaf. So I just do it freehand. I'll just cut out like that. Nice fatty one. There we go. That's it. Then we will use a part of this. Just need to fix this part here. Seems like I've got a bit of a bubble or something. Yeah. Okay, so here's the next one. water just want to smooth out the edge okay now we're going to design the leaves that's going to go on top of it okay so let's see how we're going to do this put that aside okay so oh just look at this one. This one is so cute. Look at the edge. So cute. Okay, so I've got one pressed down. Give it a roll so that the print can be nice and clear. Slowly and gently lift it off. Here we go. Now cut it out. I normally just wet the end of the knife. I'm wondering if that's going to work. Let's see. Okay, let's bring this one closer. There we go. Have a sip of coffee. this a bit So, and press it down gently because you don't want to press out any of the imprint on the small leaf. I just use my brush and I smooth out the edge.
Oopsie. We've had such a heat, hot days these last couple of days here. Nice. to use this piece to cut out all the small little leaves okay so let's do this we're going to put maybe one of those that one and I'm wondering if this one is not going to be too big okay but let's try let's see give them a nice roll so that we can get the print See, that's what happens when you go into frost. Slowly. There we go. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Sure. Yep, I think I want this one. Cut it out. Okay. And so you can design your own, make your own design using different little leaves. So the idea with this one is that we are going to make a design with a few leaves on the trinket. Okay, let's just see how we're going to do this. <clears throat> thinking I'm going to do it this way yeah again I just take a little bit of water and I smooth out the edge and give it a little bit of a smooth out okay so let's see how we're going to do this so if I put one on this side like that and then maybe we can make it like it's almost the leaves are falling so we'll put one like this position it like that and oops I forgot to score those two Oh dear okay and maybe put this one I wonder if I should put it like that yeah I like that look yeah I like that that looks pretty So I just gently give it a press so that it sticks. But I try not to press too hard. Mm. Okay, now that's cute. I must if I must say that myself, that's very cute. I love this look. Or this design. And the little shop this is going to is on a wine farm or a fruit farm and the shop is on that farm and when you drive in there it's so beautiful you in nature you between the vineyards and the fruit trees so this is so beautifully themed for that for that shop It's 
on a hill and it's really beautiful okay so so this is the idea so what do you think what do you guys think please leave some comments and some thoughts that you've got i would really appreciate it and maybe you can give me some tips and ideas things i didn't think of but i hope that this will give you some inspiration and that it will help you in some way as i said earlier trinkets are such a handy thing you can do so many things with them little trinket dishes or little trinket bowls okay now i need to find something to put this guy in so that we can get the shape and took all my other ones downstairs because I washed them and packed them away for next year. I've got a little plate here which I can use. I really think that this one is going to be super cute out of the three that I made so now you can put your jewelry here or you can put your soap here or you can put some olives here or whatever your snack is you can put it in there but because I'm using this plate this one is going to be a bit more flatter if you can see it's not going to have such a curved bowl shape, which I also think is cute. It's almost like a little plate, little trinket plate. Okay, so there we go. There's the third design. So if I have to put them all out here to show you just how creative you can get with these leaves. And how many different designs you can do it's just very cute okay so let's do this have a look here and see how quickly I made three of them quick quick it's not taking me long to make them and there you go so imagine you've got a party and on your table you've got these three little guys and they've got different snacks in them maybe with a little tea light candle in the middle or a few leaves I think it's beautiful again as I said we are nature lovers we love the nature I get a lot of my inspiration from the nature from nature and yeah we've got a beautiful forest here called Newlands Forest it's very big it's very lush and green, a lot of ferns, a river going through it. It's really a beautiful forest. And we often go for walks and then I look at all the different leaves and the ideas and the inspiration is just running through my head and I get so many ideas of what I want to do. And imagine you take this big leaf and you make a big platter out of it and you've got that imprint of the vein in it. And oh, it's just, it's awesome. I just love it. Okay, guys, so this is my last video for the year. I will see you guys next year again. I wish you all a beautiful Christmas, wonderful holidays. A festive merry time with your families and I'll be back next year we are also going away for a little bit to have a little bit of a break 
and um, but I know in about a week's time from now my hands are going to start itching and I'm going to want to get back to my clay again but yeah we are going to the sea and we are going to have a lot of fun and just go rest a bit so be safe and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you guys next year and please leave comments and if you do like my videos give it a like and a subscribe I will really appreciate it and yes see you in the next Just a quick one. close up of each one I made so this is the last one we did okay here's the first one we made and the second one so yeah so you can see you can really play around with different designs you can even do a platter and maybe all around the edge of the platter you can put these little leaves that'll look beautiful as well make a set And now you can see what beautiful imprint that leaf makes. Just look at it. Look how deep the veins press in. So imagine you do a, a underglaze wash on this. It's going to look so beautiful. Very cute.